As recovery efforts continue in Western North Carolina, we are seeing how people are bouncing back after a few uncertain weeks. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake talked to one Asheville woman about all the challenges that she is still facing. You never appreciate the basic necessities in life until you're without them. Imagine having no running water, no way to shower, no way to cook meals. Well, there's one woman in Asheville, like many others across Western North Carolina, who didn't have running water for weeks. She does now, but she told me when she didn't, she came down to this creek. This is what she would use to bathe herself, to wash her hair, and to take water back up to her home until the water was turned back on. In a place where there was no running water for days. People are anxious and people are stressed. One woman found an innovative way to make sure she wasn't without. But then I thought about this creek. Liz Bulkley, along with her cat Seymour. Good kitty. Made the trek from their home to the creek every day. There, she would wash her hair. So I'd get it all wet and here's the shampoo. And fill buckets up to bring back to her home. I never thought I would experience something like this for such an extended period of time too. I believe we were without water for 19 days. Bulkley and Seymour introduced the creek to neighbors so they had means of temporary water as well. Thankfully, water has been restored in this neighborhood within the last week, though some restrictions are still in place. I don't really know anybody who is willing to drink that water because it's cloudy and it's, you know, comes with warnings. And so most things are, are okay in the household. For instance, I can flush my toilet, which is, really terrific. That is progress for a part of the state who couldn't even do that for weeks. But as we've said before, mountain folks are resilient and like Bulkley, doing what they can to press forward. Right now, we're vulnerable. And in the face of that, it takes some incredible strength to overcome those fears and anxieties. And I, I think we're on the road to doing that. This is a powerful place here in Western North Carolina. It's really powerful. Reporting in Asheville. Some people believe there's a lot of magic in the mountains here. Amber Lake. And I've come to believe that too. WFMY News 2.